to help you save money. We've got fintech queen Ashley Nguyen in the house. Thanks for coming back to see us, Ashley. We love that. Okay, so why should we consider using apps when it comes to helping us save? Okay, thank you, Tracy. I am excited to be here. I'm excited to talk about all the different apps, all the tools, all the fintech goodness out there that's going to help everybody here with their customer journey. Yeah. Uh, now, to answer your question, it's fast, it's reliable, mm -hmm. you get tons of insights, and it'll really help with getting you on that financial journey. So that's what, why we're really excited about these tools. Well, we need it to be easy and fast. So I'm happy yeah. that you, uh, you said that, because when it comes to saving money, we're all like, <laughs> right? Do we want to spend the money, not save the money. I so make know. it easy and make it automatic. Uh, before we get into the apps, you say it's crucial to save, especially with rising interest rates. Like, that, we're in a serious time right now. I, you know what, okay, Bank of Canada has risen their rates a number of times. I know a lot of folks have known about this and have heard about it in the news. It's a little bit of how does this impact me? Well, it's at a 21 year all time high, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and as a consumer, if you have variable mortgage rates, as an example, you're probably paying more than you have in the past. Yeah. Um, but as a saver, you can also make more money with your money That's true. with higher interest rates that the banks are giving you. So yeah. it's important for us to understand how it impacts us as consumers. Oh, I'm happy you said that. There is a bit of a silver lining. So let's get into your recommended apps. We're going to start with Coho. Okay, Coho. Yeah. Coho is really interesting. Um, it's an app that allows, and, and really a, a banking, a, a checkings and savings account that allows you to sort of see how you're saving money and how much interest rate you're seeing there. But also as you're spending cash, you're also getting some money back from this institution, this, this oh. checkings account. So you're spending cash, you're saving cash. They have this really cool user interface that allows you to see both sides of the coin. So I really mm. like the app from that perspective. Yeah, I like make, making money on my money. Yeah, Like exactly. that's good when you're spending <laughs> it, that's great. Your next app is called Mocha. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Okay, so Mocha is really cool. There's a lot of um, different robo advisors out there, investment mm. type of financial institutions. But Mocha is really interesting because you can actually set some goals in there, your okay. savings goals, and they'll invest that money for you according to what your goal is. So. Give me an example of a short-term savings goal for Tracy. Vacation, vacation, vacation. It's always about <laughs> vacation. Saving for the next vacation. Okay, amazing. So imagine Tracy in Paris yes. next year, living her best life. Well, we want to make sure that you're saving up to get there. And so you can actually, on the app itself, set your goals and mm -hmm. that money will get invested for you, give you a return and allow for you to hit that goal at a later point in time. So it's important to think about our short term savings goal mm -hmm. as opposed to just shoveling money away and not necessarily knowing what we have in sight. Yeah, there's something about earmarking your money that makes it so much better because you feel like you see the gratification of saving it. Totally. This went into the back porch or the back deck. This went into, you know what I mean, this vacation. So it's exactly. lovely. Exactly. Talk to us about apps that track our loyalty points and give cash back. Okay, so loyalty points, we have a card for WestJet, a card for mm -hmm. Air Canada. We have all these different things that we open up. And I don't know about you, but for me, I lose track of how many points I have. Mm -hmm. I lose track of what the points even mean for me. Do they expire? So, um, Award Wallet's pretty cool because you can actually consolidate all of your cards onto one platform, one app that shows you what's going on. Mm. There's also a really cool one called Ampli, and Ampli's mm -hmm. powered by RBC. And basically what happens is every single time you spend money, so let's say you go to Sephora and you buy the newest, hottest Kylie kit, whatever. Mm -hmm. It'll actually show you when you spend a hundred bucks at Sephora, they're a partner of Ampli, so they'll actually give you some money back, and you'll see it right there. So you're okay. double dipping. You're getting money back maybe on your credit card or your Coho card, as an example, but mm -hmm. then you're also making money back on this loyalty rewards. And so it's great for the companies because mm -hmm. you're, they're getting your um, overall loyalty. And on the flip side, you're making a little bit of money, so it's, it's nice. Good. Okay, lastly, you say we need to track our savings progress, and there are apps that are going to make that a lot easier. Totally. So first of all, you know, just to kind of go back, summarize from the beginning, we want to have hit our savings goals. You obviously want to talk to a financial expert about what those those things look like. Mm -hmm. Now, 
A lot of banks and what we're seeing in the market today is personalization. Like JP Morgan's head of digital experience the other day said, hey, you know what? You're going to see a lot of catered to Tracy information in her apps. Mm -hmm. So all the banks are moving into this direction. We want to make sure that we ourselves, as the people who are spending the money, we want to know where are we spending our money? How much did I actually spend on groceries? So you're yeah. seeing categorization. How much did I actually spend at a makeup beauty store? Yes. How much did I pay for this purse? Whatever the case might be, you want to be able to categorize and see all of that there so that you're in control of your money and your savings, right? You got a budget. So they also have the, we also have the OG budget apps out there. Mint is a good one. They're powered by Intuit as an example. We also have You Need a Budget, which is also called YNAB. So there's a number of apps out there that will help you with your budgeting to hit those savings goals. Good stuff. You're trying to get us all to Paris, aren't you? Yeah. Thank all you, Ashley. Paris. You're very welcome. That's why we want you to come back again and again. <laughs> Great information. Let's go to break. We got more coming.